she's always going to be the sidekick that's the motherly figure or she's overly sexual it's no in between What is up? It is me, Miss Black Introvert, and thanks for clicking on this video. Um, I know I've been gone. I know I've been gone for like a really long time, two months to be exact. And I do apologize to anyone who actually likes watching my videos. Um, oh, I'm sweaty, y'all. Oh, it's giving milk dud. I got this video idea after watching an episode of Bad Girls Club. I'm a big fan of Bad Girls Club like and once I saw that all the episode well a lot of the seasons were on Hulu I said I know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing for my Friday night I know what I'm doing I'm gonna be sitting here watching people get beat up over fucking cereal yes I'm here for it so I watched all the episodes well of season seven and after watching um season seven there was a castmate called Nastasia and she was a heavy set black girl a lot of the girls would talk about her being big that was always the insult a lot of the girls went after was her being big and that wasn't the reason i decided to make this video only i also was seeing how people operated with her a lot of people put it put her in the maternal role in the household she was a motherly type of figure and not to say that she didn't lean into this role and that wasn't her actual personality, but I feel like a lot of fat black femmes, fem or women, we are given that role and we just have the role with it. A lot of people look at fat black women as motherly. And it's crazy because watching the show, I also was looking back at my at like dates I've went on with guys, different guys, and I'm like, a lot of them kind of I believe had mother issues a lot of guys I talked to I feel like had mother issues because they look to me to be their caregiver in a way and I'm just like honey I'm not here to mother you you know what I'm here for you're a weirdo don't come over here with that like a lot of guys have mother issues a lot of black guys have mother issues and I'm noticing a lot of them look to black fat women to be that even if they don't even if they don't realize it and they don't want to admit it, they do. They do. And it's it's weird. A lot of fat black women are put in a maternal role. Like everything else, that comes from slavery and the mammy character. So I'm going to give you a definition, the definition of mammy, if you don't know. And I'm going to read from my computer. Mammy is the most well-known racial caricature of African-American woman. She was created during the era of American slavery as manufactured evidence that black slave women were content and even happy to be slaves. And thus that slavery was a humane institution. Although she had children, sometimes many, she was completely desexualized. So as you can see, it was a lot of desexualization of the fat black femme or fat black woman. And it still goes on today it still goes on today but in a weird way because on one hand fat black women are desexualized in media but on the other hand they're over sexualized in real life and in media so it's just a lot it's just a lot um i've noticed growing up that there was not meant there was not a lot of representation for black femmes there wasn't and there isn't the only fat black woman representation we had was monique and countess vaughn basically and you see the roles they were given you see the roles they were given sister where's the girlfriend sorority just <laughs> point me to the white sorority <laughs> <laughs> That would be the triple A's, right over there. Every, their identity was, every character they were given, their identity was heavily based on them being fat. With Countess Vaughn, even so much as she was always a sidekick. Well, she was a sidekick to Moesha Brandy. And she was looked at as less desirable. The guy she liked didn't like her. Brandy in an episode thought she was jealous of her and got mad at Countess Vaughn when she dared to have an identity outside of her. 
when she got on the cheerleading team and she didn't and she just was so mad about that because how dare she outshine her skinny beautiful self it's just like girl calm down she hated that Countess Vaughn had a one-up on her she could do something better than her and we saw that in the proud family with Dijanae and Penny so there was an episode where Dijanae was actually good at poetry and Penny wasn't so much as good and she got mad at Dijanae for actually having a characteristic other than being loud boy crazy and ghetto so it's just kind of strange how black women were either the sidekick that's only there for comedic relief and only there to be hyper boy crazy and uh, hyper boy crazy and undesirable or when we are the center of it we're overly sexualized we're never the center of it but we're over sexualized if we are plus size women if you dare to have a shape while being big as a black woman it's 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 a wrap for you. No one's gonna take you seriously. They're always gonna over sexualize you. They're always gonna look at you as the girl who is meant for sexual pleasure, but never an actual relationship. I've had that in my life and it's really, 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 really demeaning. And a lot of guys think, oh, you're desire. So you are desirable. It kind of sounds like I'm contradicting myself, but being desired in a sexual manner while simultaneously not being desired in a actual relationship is it's it's not a good feeling like you can be sexually free and liberated but also in a relationship and being overly sexualized is not a good thing no matter how much people want to act like it is men especially it's not a good thing to be overly sexualized i don't know what world you live in where people want to be overly sexualized i don't have any qualms against sexualization of things like sexy up things but don't over sexualize especially i could literally just wear leggings and um like a little t-shirt and i'm trying to be like that's not exposing on a skinny person but for me it's oh you trying to, you know, you trying to show stuff, but it's it's not. You're just wearing a legging in a, te in a in a tank. As soon as you get a little little fat in certain places, people want to sexualize you. The media has has never done a good a good job of portraying fat black women. Like to this day, to this day, name a character that's the main the lead, in the lead role, and also she's intelligent. She's emotionally intelligent. She's got her own thing going for her she's got a love interest that actually likes her for her i can't tell you i can't name one show today that's going on today where the uh, there's a fat black woman that's in the lead role and she's not comedic relief she's always going to be the sidekick that's the motherly figure or she's overly sexual it's no in between. She's either overly sexual or she's desexualized. Can't we exist as a sexual being who also has other things going for them? Or is that only reserved for skinny people? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can put in countless clips of the examples of, I'm talking about, but people will still still say i'm i'm imagining these things and why can't you people why can't you women ever be happy with anything you feminists get on my nerve you're always complaining the proof's in the pudding the proof's in the pudding bitch eat it it's in the pudding anyways i wanted this to be a quick little video i didn't want to talk too hard about this because it gets stressful talking about things that bother me that i feel like i can't change I can't change how society looks at me as a fat black girl or a fat black woman. I can't change that people look at me and automatically think I'm going to be rude or people look at me and automatically think I'm going to be loud and outgoing. I can't change that. All I can do is just be me and not be me with the sole intention of trying to break stereotypes, but just be me, period. And if people want to put me in a box that I don't necessarily fit in. If you want to try to fit a triangle peg in a square hole, that's you. You look like the dumb one. I don't. I'm just existing and I'm being me. If you want to be stupid and you want to 
have your fucking biased ideas of me, go on ahead. Go on ahead. Because I'm, I'm of the belief that there's somebody for everyone. And if somebody don't like me, there's another person that will. Period. I just want to I just want to see more representation in media for black fat women. That's pure. That that's all. I want to see a, a lot more fat black femmes on the TV on TV when I when I turn on TV, I want to see that because we exist. Is that too much to ask for, you guys? Is that too much to ask for? If you like this video, like this video. If you like me, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.